Today I was listening to a podcast and it was about the midlife crisis. And it's a podcast that I listen to quite regularly because it really helps you think about things in different ways. And he was talking to a chap who, I forget his name now, and I will put a link in the show notes to this podcast so you can listen to it. It's very interesting. And they were talking about um, the midlife crisis and about what it represents and what it can be. Now, this chap was saying that the midlife crisis is something that happens between uh, roughly the age of 45 and 50. So I am right at the end of that um, of that thing. And it's interesting that I probably hit my midlife crisis around about the time that the pandemic arrived, which is quite cathartic because the the pandemic and being locked down and kind of seeing things differently and different viewpoints and different ways of looking at the world and how um, insecure the world actually is did make me think differently about things going forward. And they also said that, you know, the the midlife crisis is... uh, Uh, you know, it's when you might start to learn language, you might want to change careers. Um, And I also think of, you know, midlife crisis as when someone might have an affair because their life has become so kind of static. And I've always had these kind of seven year riches, so to speak, and I've wanted to, to do different things. But in some ways my life has always allowed for that because I have moved quite a lot since I left home at 18. I've lived in four or five different areas of the country. I've moved house a lot. I've moved job a lot. Um, Maybe not so much the career path, um, but certainly changing the actual jobs that I was doing. And then, of course, at 35, I decided to go back to school. I went to university, and that's something that people often want to do. They might want a career change. They might want to go back to school and learn something. And I was... um, So, yeah, I I went to university at 35. It gave me a chance to have that second career, which is the thing I'd wanted to do in the first place. But had I done the thing I wanted to do in the first place, I probably wanted would have wanted to have done something in my third different in my 30s anyway because I've spoken before about how I have this quite low boredom threshold and I'm always wanting to be trying different things and I've um, partially learned a language Um, I started to learn a second language uh, a couple of years ago so I'm always trying to learn new things and think out of the box and that's one of the things I love about podcasts is that It gives me a chance to dip into other people's lives. And I do the same thing with YouTube. So all the podcasts I follow, most of them anyway, and the YouTube channels I follow, give me a chance to explore other ways of living, of thinking outside the box. I don't consider myself narrow-minded in my opinions. I think that everyone deserves to be heard. And I don't like to think that I am very blinkered in my in my my thoughts and my opinions on things. I have paved my own way. And since I came out of university in my late 30s, things have continued to move. And it certainly wasn't until I reached, I was, I think I was 42, when I finally reached a point where I thought, this is the person that I wanted to be. This is the the way I wanted to live my life. And I've been doing that ever since. This this is, I feel, closer to the ethics of the person that I wanted to be. And people might say, oh my God, you mean you wanted to live on the edge of austerity? Um, I live on less now but I think I am more secure in my financial situation than I've ever been because I no longer rely on those financial systems and because I broke out of the nine-to-five mould and was able to take a chance 
and discover that you can do things differently. So I have less income now, but it's across all different things, which gives me a little bit of financial security because I haven't got all my eggs in that one basket of one, in, one employer. I feel more secure. I feel that I have more opportunities because the work that I do doesn't tie me down to a five day a week job. I can go off and do what I want most of the time. There's only eight and a half hours a week where I have to be in one place at one time. And if I decide that I no longer want to do that, I can just say I don't want to do it anymore. So I've discovered in my own midlife crisis the freedoms that I needed, the independence that I needed. And it was really interesting listening to this podcast and kind of nodding along to certain things and thinking, yeah, I can understand that and I can appreciate that. And certainly my frame of mind has changed as I've um, developed this less stressful life and this less money orientated life, I've become more, cur more curious and I want to know about different ways of living and different people in the world. And it's made me a better person. It's made me more of the person that I always was, but was kind of stifled by expectations and other people's routines and demands. And I like the way that that is turning out. What happens going forward? I have no idea. I feel that the last couple of years have been stepping stones. So 2022 was a really bad income year for me, and I've been working on that. Last year was a better year. This year is likely to be an even better year. And I think that by the time I get to the end of this year, and I really know what my financial expectations are, I will then be able to use that going forward to do other things with my life. I feel like I, I'm still in that cusp of change where uh, I kind of know what it is, but I just need to be sure. And of course this year I hit 50. And I am looking forward to being the other side of that because there's all the expectation that comes along with being 50. You know, it's it's the acknowledgement and it's the um, I will be down at my at my parents when that thing occurs. And there will, of course, have to be the acknowledgements. And there's a, you know, it's a big family restaurant meal we're going to. So I can't let it just slide by. But I don't think we're going to make a, a big deal about it. We tend not to make a massive big deal about birthdays now. And I'm looking forward to just having some quiet celebrations and coming out the other side and thinking, OK, so begins the second half of my life. Let's do something useful with it. I don't like to say that I have wasted the previous years because I think you can only work with what you got and what you understand and the knowledge that you have and the resources you have. And... I was quite blinkered in my younger days. Uh, I thought I knew what I wanted and I didn't. And I was let down by other people. Entirely my own fault. I shouldn't have relied on them in the first place. But it all creates these situations where suddenly your life flies by. And I'm not saying that the best years of my life have gone. They haven't. I have plenty of opportunity left. And... I am looking forward to that. I feel so. I do feel like I have kind of come through the midlife crisis in its own way because I know myself better now. And even running this channel has been a part of that, and, and I wanted it to be. I started this channel to make myself more accountable, and I think it's really helping. It's giving me focus. It's helping me to understand what's going on in the world because I get so many comments from people and it's interesting to see how other people are leading their lives and how I can use that to help improve my life as well as hopefully handing out some reasonable advice that other people can use as well. And I think that I have, you know, offered up some interesting things that help people cope better. And that's about as much as you can hope for at the moment. So it is really interesting and I am going to do a, a post about the podcasts that I listen to and the YouTube channels that I watch 
because they are they're mind opening. I have learnt so much about different people and about the way people lead their lives in different parts of the world. And it's been incredibly useful and helpful and cathartic and it just opens your mind to a whole stack of other things. And it's great. I love learning about what goes on in the world. I always hope that I'm not closed-minded and not blinkered and I want to know what's going on in the world. Um, and I think these channels, you know, through through podcasts and through YouTube, but being careful about what you listen to and what you what you watch and what you read can be really good for you. And I think too many people are very closed-minded, very blinkered, very opinionated on things that they don't actually understand. And some of that comes out on the channels as well, as you would expect. It's the internet. Everyone's got an opinion on everything. But I hope that everything I do is helping me move towards being a better person. That was always what... And it's kind of happened naturally. I haven't purposefully gone into that, but my natural curiosity, and now that I have the time and my own time to be able to do those things, means that I am learning so much about the world. Anyway, that was my update for today. I will leave a link to that podcast. Do have a listen, it's very interesting. And as I say, I will do an update on all the sorts of channels that I use to kind of educate and inform myself. I think they're very useful and I think we can all do with understanding a little bit about how the wider world works. Anyway, as you can see, it's a sunny afternoon. It's very cold, which is why the sushi jumpy is back. Um, temperatures have dropped a couple of degrees because we've got less cloud cover, but it's, um, you know, end of February, still winter. By the time this comes out, it'll be March and hopefully things will be on the improve but yeah it's a nice sunny afternoon I'm going to enjoy that and finish some creative projects that i'm in the middle of which will be going up on my other channel soon and i will try to add a little bit of that here as well so i hope you're having a good week good weekend whatever you're doing whenever you watch this and i'll speak to you again soon speak to you soon